Hey guys, Chris Delzer from Agricultural Insights again with another interview summary. Now, if you don't know, I interview real farmers and ranchers and those interviews last about 60 minutes. So I figured I would give a boiled down condensed summary of those interviews here in video format to uh, give you guys out there some insight into what these interviews might actually be like. Now, if you and if you do enjoy the interviews, and you do want to listen to the full-length interview, you can go ahead and go over to agriculturalinsights.com and check those out. But today, I'd like to summarize the interview I did with Colin Sice from New South Wales. He's an Australian farmer and rancher. Um, Colin actually invented the technique called pasture cropping, or he made it very popular. There's some uh, debate out there as to whether he really invented it or not, but I'm going to say that he did... Um, and basically, pasture cropping is going out and no-tilling um, a, a cash crop into your pasture, and like wheat. So if you have a pasture, he has his livestock go in and graze that area uh, pretty heavily, and then he, and then in the next few days, he'll come in and follow that with uh, a planting of wheat or some other type of cash crop. Maybe it's oats or something like that. He lets those oats grow to full maturity. Maybe he even grazes those oats one or two times and then lets them get to full maturity. Then he goes ahead and harvests that cash crop and then comes back in with his livestock and grazes that same area. So basically, that's what pasture cropping is on Colin Sice's farm. Um, and it's just a fantastic way for uh, conventional farmers or ranchers to start to make that transition into a more sustainable way of doing things. So it's really cool. Uh, Colin ha actually has some dramatic um, increases in the fertility of his farm and also the profitability. Uh, and this is studies that you guys can go look up if you're really interested at Colin's website. But um, he increased his carbon content over 200% in his soils. Um, and he dramatically increased his organic matter a few percent just by using this pasture cropping. Another really fantastic, cool thing that he did was he said that once he started no-tilling the, the wheat crop in, he said once, the, once he harvested the wheat, the roots would basically die, the plant would essentially die, and then that would turn into organic matter in the soil. And he said right in these slits, which uh, no-tilling, no-till cropping produces, he would have perennial grasslands starting to, or perennial grasses starting to come back that no one in his area had seen for years and years and years. And basically, that that no-till row was a perfect habitat for these perennial grassland plants to come back and start establishing themselves. So not only is he grazing livestock, not only is he getting a cash crop, but he's restoring perennial grasslands building organic matter, and basically just increasing the overall profitability of his farm. So that's the Colin Sice interview in a nutshell. Again, there's this interview is probably about 60 minutes or longer, so if you want to check it out, head over to agriculturalinsights.com. And thanks for watching, and my name is Chris Stelzer, and uh, come by and introduce yourself. I'd love to hear from you. All right, take care.